First, let's talk about some DIY. Yes. When it comes to the holidays, <laughs> you have got a beautiful uh, projects in uh, Canadian House and Home magazine. Starting with the wreath. So the wreath has come a long way. Well, there's so many options nowadays, yes. right? So many ways to do it. And I mean, I'm a huge fan of natural greenery. I don't know about you. Yeah, I do. I love it. But the only thing with, I like it throughout the house, but the only thing with that is that it drops your, the leaves and the pine needles everywhere. and it goes everywhere. And that can be a big drag at that point when you're trying to take it all down. Yes. So what's fun about the wreath that we have, and we have a great photo of it in situ, is that there's no droppings. Right. And if you're in, I love this. It's like pretty. this is actually made from, um, yarn, and I think if you're a big knitter, I don't know about you, but Not I'm, a, a, big I'm a big knitter. Yeah, I'm a terrible knitter. Yeah, so I but actually you like to do it. <laughs> I like the process, but I always end up with all kinds of yarn left over. Right. And so if you have excess yarn, you can take the different colors, wrap it around a form. This is just a simple form that you can get at Michaels or any kind of arts and crafts supply store. Use that remnant and create something really fun and playful. And I think kids would love this because it's yeah. so colorful. And again, like Brian was talking about, I think when you're decorating your house for the holidays, you have to think about what your regular everyday style is. So this is fun for a house that loves color, mm -hmm. a contemporary house with lots of pops of color. And we just added a little sprig of ornaments on the side just to sort of amp up the festivity a little bit more. Beautiful. You know, you mentioned kids loving this. This could be really nice outside of a child's bedroom as well. Or on their door, right? On their door. Exactly. Yeah, I think Perfect. that's really nice. Yeah. Okay, so now the advent calendar is something yeah. so many people look forward to at uh, this time of year. There's so many different ways you can do it, like this one. Isn't this beautiful? Hanging on the wall. That is such a great idea. So how is that made? Well, this is interesting. So so, like advent calendars, I think again for kids, they love them because yeah. I love that ritual of every day opening a little gift. Um, not a lot of really fun, sort of organic, modern ones out there, right. although there are more. Mm -hmm. So, this one is actually made out of branches found just, just oh. basically in your yard. They're painted silver, spray painted silver. Um, so, it's got a little bit of sparkle. And then we found these little bags, which we actually have right here from um, Creative Bag, and they're just like linen, little linen um, baggies. Huge. And, and they've um, got the little drawstring yeah. on them. So all you do is you dip dye them in this kind of, it's like a fabric dye. Ah. There's so many of these available. Just do a little dip dye, add a little bit of water to dilute it, yeah. and you just dip the bottom. That's how you get this the effect. Color. Yeah, and then using a calligraphy pen, which you can find everywhere now nowadays. You don't actually have to use the old school calligraphy pen where you're dipping in the ink. This is actually like an ink um, pen itself, right? Yeah. And you just write these numbers on there and you get this fun sort of very artistic effect. And we tied it all together with these sort of ombre effect ribbons. I love it. There's something very organic about this. Totally. I love it. You can put like a piece of jewelry in there every day. Little Husbands. Bit, like you can put, exactly. <laughs> you can fit a ring in every one of those. I'm just saying. Yeah. Little chocolate. It's a possibility. Chocolates Nail too. polish. Yes. Small things. Good things. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about decorating the staircase. Okay. With pom poms. Yeah, I love this Look idea. Look at this idea. Isn't that fun? It's so festive and pretty. Um, outside, again, this whole idea of the greenery. I love greenery up, up the railing of your staircase, but yes. it goes everywhere. And it can scratch your, your railing. So you have to be really yeah. careful how you do it. What I love about that idea is that it's paper, it's soft. These are basically just things that you find at, you can find them at the paper place. Look at these. And you can find them so at Target cool. in all kinds of shapes. They're kind of wedding-like yeah, when they you are think a about bit. it. So you just have to th get outside of the idea of wedding and think, hey, they're fun inside your house for Christmas too. As long as you stick to hues that I think have a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver, that's what keeps it feeling holiday as mm -hmm. opposed to I'm getting married and going to the chapel and blah blah blah. Yeah, no, yeah. I hear that. <laughs> it's when I saw them on the staircase and I thought, oh, okay, I get that. Yeah, what I mass, love about right? them is that they're oversized. Yeah. So I've got this thing for oversized ornaments. I think they just make life easier. They've they got do. big They impact. fill in, right? They fill in. You don't need as many of them no. uh, to really make a statement, which is yeah. lovely. They're fun. And just tie them with um, fishing line. Yeah. And then you can't see it. If you do see it, hide a little bit with the ribbon, with right. a little bit of white ribbon or black, depending upon the color of your railing. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now the, the mantle. You can have some yes. beautiful greenery on of the course. mantle, which is also you know, a very traditional thing to do. Yeah, the mantle's always a place of emphasis in your house. It's your focal point, so I love it when people go to town on their mantle. This picture that we have here is an example of something really whimsical. This is the time of the year when you can be playful, yeah. you can be whimsical. I have a soft spot for these sparkly little houses. Um, these ones are actually from Pottery Barn, oh, and it's just like Brian was talking about with some of the lines. A little bit of sparkle goes a long way and just makes it feel fun. Mm -hmm. There's actually um, a charity program attached to this, so part of the proceeds goes to a charity, which is great. And Good. then look at the garland. So this garland that 
that we saw in the picture is actually faux. So it's faux. Um, it came actually from Lowe's, and but it's such a Did good it really? one. Really? Yeah. Look at how real that looks. And it's because it's got that dusty effect. Yeah. But the trick to it, and what we did in the shot you saw, was doubling it up. So rather than just doing one string of it, mm. just come back again, make it really full and lush. Mm -hmm. The big bow in the middle becomes the focal point, stringing a few mercury glass lights through it. And then, as you saw in the picture before, if you don't have a fireplace that works, which a lot of people yep. don't, just stock up on those birch logs and fill it in, and you don't have to worry about anything lighting on fire in that case either. <laughs> That's right. I love the big bow as well. It's just yeah. it's like a presentation. It's like a beautiful gift. It's all about the bow. Finally, the trees. We were talking about the tree, tree skirts, skirts. Yeah, like, just um, like with we Brian. Saw. There's but so they're, many. Yeah, there's yeah. so many. Yeah. So look at that iconic Hudson's Bay know. theme there. They're doing such a great job with the Hudson's Bay stripes and putting them on everything you can find it on canoes That's and so cool. and I when I saw this I thought for someone who is a modernist it looks so clean and sharp but it also has that Canadiana history attached right. to it and then we have the bucket I don't know if you can see it at the back here from Crate and Barrel but the big tin bucket okay so you just drop your tree right in the bucket and I think that's really fun for people who have kind of a more rustic country look in their house right and then the one from Crate and Barrel on the other side the zigzag again just a bit more of a funky kind of graphic hit yeah so it doesn't have to be you know lots of pattern, it can be something nice. really clean and simple. I love that.